Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when an iPhone says no service. So, you try to make a call or send a message, but your iPhone has no service getting no mobile signal even with a SIM card inserted properly. You're not alone, as numbers of users have complained about the no service issues on the forum. Some report that the coverage bill is paid but there is cellular signal on iPhone. Instead, it keeps displaying a no service notification at the top right corner of the screen. Some find the iPhone suddenly displays no service after an iOS update despite being in an area with strong signal coverage. Others mention that the phone is connected to Wi-Fi but has no signal bars. Before you hit the curb in a state of panic and fury, let's examine the causes and how to fix iPhone saying no service to get the phone's network connection back. Why is your iPhone saying no service when there is? An iPhone with no service and no signal issue can be attributed to several reasons. Poor signal strength, an improperly seated SIM card, temporary outage at local carrier, outdated carrier settings and software corruption are primary causes. Sometimes, your iPhone says no service after inserting a SIM card because of incorrect network settings, a problem with a carrier account, or an old operating system. Besides, Physical damage resulting from drops or impacts that misalign the internal components could also cause an iPhone to show no service. Thankfully, you can fix an iPhone when it has no service. We'll show you a few solutions of how to fix no service on an iPhone. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step to help you restore the service. Besides, if you have any question, Write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Verify cellular network availability. Check if your iPhone is within your carrier's coverage area makes sense when you first see no service on iPhone. Being situated at a location outside of the coverage area or with poor signal strength tends to cause an unexpected, no service, message. To take a look, you can directly contact the carrier or use the link in the description to check your coverage map by yourself. Toggle cellular data off then back on. This helps re-establish its connection to the cellular network and can be done just in a few seconds. Here are the steps that follow. Open Control Center. Tap the cellular data icon to turn it off. Wait at least 10 seconds. Tap the icon again to activate the cellular data. You can also do this through the Settings app. Now, check if this action helps the iPhone find service properly. Update the carrier settings if any. If you're running an outdated carrier setting, you may run into a no service error on iPhone. By updating these settings, it's likely to fix the iPhone saying no service itself if the important fixes and enhancements are included within the update. Now, try the following steps to see if there is an update available. Connect your iPhone to a stable Wi-Fi network. Go to Settings. Tap General. Tap About. A carrier settings update will show up if it's available. Just follow the on-screen steps to trigger the update and see if your iPhone is connected to a cellular network after the upgrade. Perform an iPhone restart. In the case of an iPhone showing no service due to a software glitch, a restart is a wise move to clear it and troubleshoot the network problems. Best of all, it won't delete any content on your phone while resolving the no service or signal issue. Here are the steps that follow. In an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. In an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. After the reboot, you're allowed to reconnect to the cellular network and the no service message should disappear. Turn airplane mode on and off. Sometimes, your iPhone may lose connection to a recent signal tower, showing the no service message even with a SIM card on the top left corner for the screen. Thankfully, it allows you to reset your iPhone's network connections manually by turning airplane mode on and then back off. Here are the steps that follow. Open Control Center. Find the airplane icon and tap it to turn it on. Wait 10 seconds and then tap the icon to turn it off. Now, your iPhone should start searching for available cellular networks anew without showing no service anymore. Reinsert the SIM card. A SIM card plays an important role in building a stable and secure transmission between the phone and the network. If it's not properly seated or damaged, 
it could fail to verify the user's identity and enable access to services such as calls, texts, and mobile data. For that, take out the SIM to check it out and then reseed it. Here are the steps that follow. On your iPhone, locate the SIM card tray. Use a SIM eject tool to remove the tray and take out the SIM card carefully. After around one minute, reinsert the SIM card and push the tray back in to see if it restores the coverage. Install the latest version of iOS. Running an old iOS will increase the possibility of getting a no signal or no service error on iPhone. If you don't have service on iPhone and it's been long time without updating the operating time, go to the settings and do so. They could come with the fixes on iPhone with no service. Here are the steps that follow. Go to settings. Tap general. Tap software update. It'll start checking for update. If it shows you that there is a software update available, just follow the on-screen instructions to install the latest iOS. Be sure to check if your iPhone has service and allows you to call or use mobile data normally. Reconnect with your service provider. Still have no service problems on iPhone? Reconnecting with your service provider can help restore service. Search online to find the customer support page of your carrier like Verizon, at, and so on. You can ask the customer service to check if your account is active or see if they can help reset the account settings. Reset the network settings. Cellular data is a part of the network settings in your iPhone. If there is something wrong with the whole network settings, it can cause the iPhone saying no service when there is. It's often hard to pinpoint which part of the network settings is incorrect, so it's advised to reset the network settings to restore all network-related settings to their factory defaults. Here are the steps that follow. Go to Settings. Tap General. Scroll all the way down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Choose Reset and select Reset Network Settings from the opening menu. Then, finish the following steps until your phone reboots. Seek assistance from carrier or Apple support. If none of the above methods work, contacting your carrier or Apple support can provide additional assistance. They can help diagnose the issue further and suggest advanced solutions tailored to your specific situation. Their expertise can be invaluable in resolving persistent connectivity problems that may involve account issues or device malfunctions. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that has no service. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in restoring the service to use the device as normal. If you did, please consider liking and buying this video a super thanks. Your support means a lot to us to deliver more tech-related content. Until next time.